So, something a bit different today. So in the world of being a shed man, in the world of having everything, we've heard of the words, you know, uh, I think I've got one. Oh, yeah, I should have one. I think I know where it is. Uh, I think it was here the last time I saw it. All those words where certain stuff you keep in certain places for certain situations. You know, um, things move. Well, the last time I saw it, it was here. I thought it was here. I've got one. Oh, I'm bound to have one. I've got to have one somewhere. Well, there are certain things in the shed. Being a shed man, being able to help anybody, do anything for anyone. One of the things for certain is I know where my breakdown corner is. Yeah. So today we're going to use the jump leads. So this is where the jump leads live. We're going to take two sets with us. Just in case we have to reach, we've got a, a stranded vehicle, uh, left the lights on. Do you know these autumn, we're all used to now, these electric lights, I mean, the Passat has got it, uh, David's car got it. You don't, you don't even switch the lights on these days, do you? So, there's a higher, <laughs> yeah, this corner is the corner I always keep. I've got some um, jump leads. Uh, happen to be two sets, so if you've got two sets, put it in the same thing. We've got the tow rope, should we need it? And we've got the tow bar, because you can't tow with the tow rope anymore. And I always keep shackles on the end of my rope, so you're not a case of, you know, um, oh, I've got the rope, where's my shackles? So emergency or breakdown situations or anything like this that you're just going to run out and fix straight away... For a change, some, this is my breakdown wall. This is where all the, you know, my, my towing and my jump leads exist. And then everything else, you know, sort of your ordinary toolkit. Um, I have actually, hold on, I've got a breakdown kit, hold on. This is a perfect example. I have <laughs> got, uh, when I do lots of mileage on the car, I put it in somewhere here. I've got a breakdown case that I've bought a little toolkit and I've added to it to make myself a little breakdown kit. But at this very moment of speaking to you, I, I don't know where the hell I've put it. I don't know what I've done with it. It's here somewhere. So here's an exact uh, example of, you know you've got it, you know you've made it, but where the hell is it? Let me see if I can find it for you. This is the exact scenario um, that we're trying to avoid by putting all the breakdown kit in the one place. I have got it's a little black case, a little cheap toolkit, and then I've added stuff to it. But if you are a, you know, travel uh, long distances and, you know, all right, we've all got our AA cards and whatever, but... Just that might, a little bit of help now and again, might just make the difference between getting to safety or getting to light. So it's always worth carrying. Just buy it brand new, don't use it. Put it in as you break down. I don't really do much mileage in my own car. Well, you saw when we ever see the car, we don't really do much in our own car. It's driving me mad now, I know. <laughs> I know what I want to show you. Let's have a look, just in case. I seem to remember coming across it. We may have already put it in the car. Let's go and have a look, see if we've put it in the car. Should be under the seat in the car. Funny, you do it in, a, in the, the bike, but we don't do it in the car. This is one of them warning triangle things. You set up behind, and just a basic set of tools. Just the, the most basic of tools. We carry with us on the bike. I know it adds weight, but it just it, it saved a Harley Davidson once, didn't it? My toolkit saved a Harley Davidson once. He dropped it and he couldn't tighten up the mirror, and I had the tools. And I said to him, "I'm carrying the tools not because I think the bike's going to break down. It's just an old habit I had on the bikes." Yeah. I try to even out. I try to even out the um, the space. And again, a little bag of tools. But that's mainly, that's my bag of tools that I carry if I do the light parade and all that sort of stuff, taping things together. 
So let's have a moment of truth. Did I put, or have I put the kit in the car already? Hold on, stick your hand under there. No, there's nothing there. Stick your hand under here. Oh, no. There's, oh, no, there's nothing there. Right. Let's, um, we've got one more place to look. If I remember. Did we put it in here? Hmm. Let's have a look. We put it in here, under here, maybe. If it's anywhere, it's under here. If it's anywhere. Oh. No, it's not even under here. Where the... Oh, that's got me now. We've got to find that now. I know you saw it. <laughs> I know you saw it. This. Because I'm a container driver. Look, that's a bar for opening the doors on the container. Yeah, that's what I keep under there. That's why I keep that there. Yeah, oh, the eyes there. The um, locking nut thing is there. <laughs> Look, it's never been used. Hmm. I think this stems back from running the old trucks. <laughs> Do you remember? Whoever remembers, you, you always had a toolbox in your front. In your front foot well, didn't you? Always had a toolbox. I used to run with running money, yeah. You used to run with running money just in case you needed it. To be terrible moving trucks, you um you carried your bag of clothes, like your emergency clothes. You always had a change of underwear and clothes with you. Um and then you had your toolbox that you kept in your fo footwell, and then you had uh, you had your running money, didn't you? Just in case, just in case you need it. Who remembers them days? Wow, that's going back a long time. Yeah, running money became a piece of plastic, didn't it? Yeah. But uh, where's this box? Where is this box? You always had a bag full of maps, didn't you? And A to Zs, just in case. You know, whenever you were tramping, way before sat navs, you always used to run off, didn't you? Buy a, a map. Preferably a little town map when you got to the town, like a little tourist map thing, just enough to to get you by. Yeah, <laughs> these were the ones, were they? Were they? No. Hold on, we'll find one here for you in a minute. There we are. Look, a stage set. You get to a town, you'd run in, you grab an eight set. These are the little red books. Wow, I see them. I see them in the car boots and I know there's a trucker had that bag of maps for years and years and years. Keep a drawer just to keep roping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, when you need some rope. This is the perfect example of you know what you've got, you can see it in your mind's eye, but where is it? Oh, where is it? You're driving me mad. So I've got about an hour before I've got to be there uh, and I did, I was reviewing my film and look. <laughs> That's not going to transfer much power, is it? So let's do a quick repair job on this then. Leon, I had a bit of a dodgy connection, so I'm just soldering it up now. Hey, I should have kept some shrink wrap to hide that. But I've soldered, I tinned the end, soldered the end, put it in there. Now soldered that in there, now it's still red hot, so much better than it was. I like the best smell of flamethrowing in the morning. I know, it's the uh, smallest flamethrower I had. Oh, a bit of insulation tape hides everything, doesn't it? Makes it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Postcode doesn't work. <laughs> uh oh! Look at this poor bugger here, look. <laughs> I don't know what you're delivering. You're definitely delivering something. You've got an Arctic, and you're going to try and all flowers. And you've got to try and deliver flowers to a little parade of shops. Poor bugger. Oh, Arrived at the lemon head. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, can you get in? It's got a little cap on it. I don't know how to... Oh, oh that's it's a got thing. a key, though. It's got a key. Anyway. Hold on. No, the lights ain't on, Leon. Lights are gone. Our little mission is over. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do... So our little mission is over, you know. You uh, you mean to do loads of filming and you actually don't do any. <laughs> We've done a little bit. 
it'll um, it'll do us. Do you know? I still haven't found the case that I'm looking for, and it's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to turf the place upside down until I find what I'm looking for. Um, where was this? This was there on the nail, wasn't it? Yeah, that lives on the nail. And this lives up here. So you always know where your, um, your breakdown, your emergency kit is, isn't it? A bit like being a fireman, I suppose. They, they, they have to know where the fire engine is when there's a fire. And it's sort of done as a favour because at least we had the time to go and fix. We had a bit of a naff connection there, didn't we? So just positive to positive, positive on the battery to positive, negative to negative. Turn the key, boom, it was off, it was gone. Simple as that. Yeah, but I've got to find this kit that I'm looking for you. I've got to find it. <laughs>